sure let's do it <laughs> we'll do it we'll do the exact same thing we'll go down to the damn temple try to learn something while we're there try to kill these annoying freaking temple enemies maybe actually have some some guns when we're going down there this time around I mean a lot of it is also learning the enemy patterns dodging better once you actually learn the enemy patterns because it's all new enemies it's and it's enemies that you can't find anywhere else you know they only exist in the temple which is on level X so you have to get there in order to actually practice with them I guess that's just that's standard for video games. <laughs> I'm just complaining because I lost. 10% damage increase times two if you come in from the bottom? We lost him. F that. Actually F that. So you had, you had to enter from the bottom in order to get 20% damage, but if you enter from the top you get nothing because the uh, upgrades disappear. That's garbage. That's... I am so pissed at that. <laughs> like, what else are you supposed to do? Come on, game. Oh, That's so garbage. Scanner, blink, focus. You might as well give me focus. I'm gonna take damage. I don't like the HP part drop, because that makes the game harder, because, uh... Start each floor with a random weapon. <sighs> we can't afford it. Uh, I don't really love these HP drops that you get for room rewards, because if you just got, you know, one HP drop, like a full HP drop, you would get a full HP drop, but you're not able to get a full HP drop. You get half of an HP, a quarter of one HP. That's not that good. No ammo. It just gives you medical supplies. Oh, we need ammo. Okay, we'll come back later. I was gonna say, like, really? No ammo? It's just free? No, it's not free. And then I get a room like this on floor one, and I'm like, oh man, the game's easy. <laughs> what am I complaining about? And then you get a room like this that has literally twice as many enemies on it, and you're like, oh, okay, well... Arcade. Okay, I'm not gonna mess up the arcade again. Attempts left to create reward, layers three, difficulty three. So if you succeed, also there is no, no uh, thing here, but if you succeed, you get rewards if you only have two attempts. Let's do it. I understand now, thank you very much. Pick lowest. That's not the lowest. The lowest was 76, not 77. Fuck! How, oh my God, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it because you have to you have to analyze it so quickly. You have like two seconds to figure out what the solution is. And some of them have to figure out what the puzzle is. Oh my god, this game. Code Red D13, whatever the developer's name of Monolith is, I hate you all. Fireball Thunderhead. Let's go Fireball. Fireball Shotgun and Chain Lightning seems pretty good. We will get some medical supplies, which is one and a half HP. It's actually really bad, but we'll do it anyways. You know, because I, I don't expect to, to hold on to this gun forever. Unless we can add parts to it, if we can add homing and overheat, 10 out of 10. We know that it's a 10 out of 10. We've won with that combination before. I will take ammo. A quarter of one HP is not worth it, but the ammo probably is. I'll take plus two HP parts. I guess if you're at full HP, then the HP parts are pretty are worth it because they're cheaper parts. Okay, we fought this guy previously, he's easy. Just don't get hit and, and prove yourself wrong.
I'll use a bomb on him, I don't care. 2 HP, 5% damage. A handheld game? Floor one? Might as well. I don't know why it gave, a, gave it to us this early, but this seems really bad. <laughs> oh, tier one temple. And there's only one candle that's unbroken. We have a choice, I think, of how far to progress now. Because it's a tier one temple, there's only one candle. I think we only need to do one of them to get whatever the reward is. I think. Well, that fucking sucked. These are late game enemies. Well, not late game, but mid game enemies were fighting this early. Get me out of here. This is it. This is interesting. I, I don't really understand, but I kind of understand. I, I would like to do all of the rooms, of course, but I don't know if we can. So this might give us max HP. If we can kill these skulls without getting hit, I think we just get max HP. Max ammo and max HP by one. Good. Familiar sounds, bright light. Halo. Is this good? Is this a blessing? Let's go this way. We're almost out of ammo. Now, I think bright light just means these angelic enemies that are really annoying. <laughs> the other doors at the beginning got blocked? Hmm, I didn't notice. But I'll take a look when we swing back around over there. Yeah, there goes our gun. Shit, dude. By the way, uh, hitting most uh, invulnerable enemies pushes them back. Not that guy. Not this guy. When you hit his shield. I hate that multi attack. He seems to also have been pretty weak. Yeah, we only get access to this one direction. Very interesting. Everything else has been closed off. We can't explore anymore. Yeah, okay. So, like, is, is there something for, for getting tier four? Oh, a visitor? Yeah, very interesting. It shouldn't have been possible to reach this place. You've come from so far. I do not know how it is you got here, but you've already caused intensive damage to the seals. I really wish we could have met under better circumstances. I think it's time you left. He shot first. This is gonna be an easier version of him, I hope. Less HP, easier to dodge attacks. Those get stuck in the ground, and if you hit them, you, okay! And they do that. <laughs> I'd kind of hate it if there were multiple different forms of this guy, because then you'd, I'd have to like memorize multiple different forms of this guy with all of his different attacks and whatnot. Those... Excuse me! Swords! I really wish that at some point I could do the temple area and have like an alternate gun. This is gonna explode. So we killed him, are we gonna get the same sword? Sacred Arms, sword. Maybe this is the, the one seal weapon that we get? If you do uh, one flame, you get this? I don't know. I am kind of curious as well what happens if you do a full tier four. But it seems like that's never gonna happen. 
Because if, if it's random, you have to just be lucky, right? You have to be lucky and get the uh, cartridge to spawn on your fourth floor. And if you don't get it to spawn on your fourth floor, you can't get anything out of it. Or you can't get the, the fourth version of it, I, I want to say. I don't know. It seems weird. It seems strange. But for the time being, I'll just be happy with what we got. Okay, the, the pieces of paper. Oh my god, thank you. Give me the HP. We need to heal up. Just a single enemy. <laughs> the fuck is this game? German Gande, this is Monolith. It's a fun game if you've never seen it, and Merry Christmas. 71 ammo. Contents, could be anything. Let's see if we can get some ammo from like a mini boss fight or something. Oh, actually. Okay, we're gonna buy this. We're gonna open this. Delta Razor. Genocide Charge. What? Delta Razor or Genocide Charge. What is Delta Razor? Oh. It's a unique gun. Okay, sure. <laughs> we got Delta Razor. It's a chain lightning linked razor. That seems pretty freaking cool. Let's heal up. You know what? That seems like it might be kind of nice. Is it amazing? It doesn't seem like it, but it seems like it could be kind of sweet. Uh, I guess we can just break all this and leave. thing is, it doesn't feel like it's going to be super powerful, unless you're dealing with lots of crowd enemies. Arcade, okay. Let's do the arcade, let's do the arcade. Hack! On success, collect. We have one attempt for one game. Oh, it's just money! You get whatever you collected. What did we collect? We collected full ammo or partial ammo and then something else? Hello, game. Okay, uh... Did I get everything? <laughs> I, I don't know how much money I had when I entered the room, so I don't know how much we had when we left. Strange. But if we got anything out of that, that's beneficial. Plating discount scanner. Oh my lord. You know, let's take Scanner. I I'm curious to see how good this will actually be once we start getting... Well, there goes our shield. Once we start getting, um... Should have used that as well. More... Uh, shortcut rooms? Maybe being able to identify what's going to be inside of them might help us somehow to collect what's inside of them. Like if we get another one of those rooms that has 20% damage that we can't access without being on a in a specific direction entering the room. How do I like the razor so far? It's okay. It's acceptable, I think. Covers all ammo or increases max ammo. Unfortunately, you can't choose. For hubris. I'd really like to try to figure out the secret of that I am error room that we've gotten on occasion. I think it's probably a secret floor, but how would you access that? How would you go about accessing that? We didn't take damage, but we lost the multiplier. Damn it, the laser beam got me. Should have just bombed earlier. Is this game as good as Gungeon? It's a different game. I wouldn't compare them. Necessarily. Let's see what we get. Razor infested giant, pulsar swarming freeze, nah. Although, no, I'm really curious about maybe trying to get new modifiers added to the gun? 
Unknown, unexplored. Well, let's get a bomb and then we'll ch check it out. We know that's our upgrade terminal room. We should probably beeline that. Um, yeah, I, I would like to try to maybe... Oh God. Abused it, abused a glitch. Yeah, get some of these keywords and then add them to the gun. Okay, we can't do that, so. Yep, well, at least the game taught me a lesson immediately without having to make me wait for it. <laughs> Tough room. Actually pretty easy. I've seen much tougher, tough rooms. Is that, is that like a big swarmer or something? Kind of like, it bounces between the ceilings and walls. <laughs> Seems strange. Okay, shield. Upgrade. <clears throat> Salvage fortune plating. Better and more frequent drops. All right, you sold me. We'll do fortune. Fortune could give us nothing, it could give us the world. You never know. Plus one deep freeze bomb. Well, we spent a bomb, we got a bomb. Let's, um, let's bomb in this room right now. It's a reliquary. That seems great. Non-basic weapons deal more damage, but burn through more ammo. Gain a shield now, and on every new floor, when broken, it chills enemies. To temper weakness and fire. To overcome all adversity. Non-basic weapons deal more damage, but burn through more ammo. Non-basic weapons. What the hell's a basic weapon? I don't know what a basic weapon is. Like, I don't know how the game would define that. But anything that increases damage, I think is good, even if it does mean you go through more ammo, because bosses are, you know, something that you need to kill as quickly as possible in this game, and anything that makes that process easier and faster is probably a good thing. Regular pew pews. Yeah, but how do you define that is the question. Shortcut. I should have just looked at the uh, room. This is not the shortcut room. This is um, Doug. I guess Doug just gives you a random shortcut room, but I don't know what, how you dig through it. That seems strange. Let's go in here. Error room. Error. Integer overflow. I really wish I knew how to do that. Use it. Lovely. How do you use it? I wanna know! I wanna know. Do you have to like salvage your base starting gun? Having an health bar on those enemies is kinda nice. Let's get more ammo. Let's keep this gun going for a little while. Maybe your default weapon since it doesn't make it stronger. Maybe. Non-basic weapons. I guess the way that it's phrased makes me curious curious about it, but it is probably exactly what it is. Hello! <laughs> that HP was moving across the screen, what the fuck? <laughs> but then, I mean, is that is that is that what the game calls it? Your non-basic weapon? Or your basic weapon? Is your your infinite ammo weapon? I don't know. I don't know what the game's nomenclature is for something like that. Gain a new keyword. Well, that's not gonna do anything. But at least we can salvage it for money. I don't know why we didn't take damage on that. I guess we had a shield pickup. So many different ways in, in, uh, in the DLC to avoid damage. I'm glad we're getting it. Please stop moving. All right, mini boss. I'm just gonna drop those immediately so I don't have to worry about them. Got him. 
HP or ammo? Dude, honestly, give me the ammo. Oh shit. How did I not take damage from that one? Okay, good. Shop? Increases max ammo. I think we need it. We also need to heal. Then we'll get this for parts. That was a pretty good shop, we bought everything. This razor has been pretty decent so far. I've, I've been relatively happy with it. Spear, chain lightning, align, infested. No. That's water. Fish! Oh god, there's a lot of fish on the screen. Okay, so the fire gets destroyed by the water. Okay, that's like armor or whatever that we lost. Excuse me, fish! I, I want the water to raise. We're fighting a giant fish. This is not this is not the boss I thought we would be fighting today. Good lord, fish is hard. <laughs> fish is brutal. Get me out of this floor. Oh. Skip. What what do you skip? I don't understand. Unknown. Okay, so that's a shortcut. That's unknown. And if we find another shortcut room, We'll, uh, take a look again. Oh, those are all swarmers. Ah, oh, fuck. You gotta die. Oh, there goes our gun. Feels like you go through guns much faster because you can't get that max ammo anymore. Or maybe I just suck. And been taking the wrong upgrades. <laughs> Um, we don't know where the upgrade terminal is here. That's a fire bat! Fire bats have a lot of HP for being such small, weak looking creatures. They can take a freaking beating, can't they? Get a new keyword for your weapon. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, you know what? Another collector, how about a trade? 10% damage for the low, low price of 40% max ammo, yes? Yes, this will do nicely, enjoy. May our paths cross again, my friend. Okay. So we have 95% ammo, 130% damage. So he doesn't, oh, he doesn't only take cartridges, he'll take anything. But I figured it's probably worth getting because we seem to be having a problem keeping our guns anyways, why not just go for the one that gives us max damage on everything? On everything! Drilled triple. Sure, why not? Oh, that's why. I mean, this looks dope as hell. But it also fires the, um... I don't know how to do this, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, it also fires the, um, drills in a very, very wide arc, so triple on a drill does not seem necessarily that useful. I mean, it is getting a lot of, like, crowd control sort of damage going, which is nice. Still looking for secret rooms. Should probably stop that. Hello. You think we're gonna fight him pretty shortly? <laughs> He's big! He's very big! Um... Recover 1 HP and move on. Increases max ammo slightly by 3. Y you know, to be fair, that did a lot of damage. 
maybe you could make a run built around just like killing enemies before they can do anything like you know kill them insanely quickly like that maybe should use a bomb in that room scrap runner collecting scrap increases speed and damage temporarily or permanently Collecting debris increases movement speed and damage by up to 40%. Effect quickly wears off when hit or not collecting debris. Effect quickly wears off. So th this is like useless on boss fights. Guess we get extra pow. That doesn't seem that good at all. Like m my, my ideal item choices are things that make me better on boss fights, not things that make me worse on boss fights. Or not worse, but just don't provide any benefit whatsoever. That doesn't seem that good. Dude, I gotta admit, the drill, it does deal a lot of damage. It's killing all these enemies in like one shot each, but unfortunately triple drill fires very slowly. I want to touch him, but I don't want to shoot him. I want to talk to him, but I can't, because he is a giant bat. Oh, okay. You can't shoot those bats, even though they look like every other bat you can shoot in the game. Thanks for the consistency, Monolith. Reveals the entire floor. He gave me an auto map. Excuse me? Why are there so many holes everywhere? Do you see this? Are they all filled with bats? <laughs> this is Doug. This is Doug. These are all Doug rooms. Doug. 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 I guess you can dig if you have certain equipment or a map. Or maybe it's something related to this floor in particular. And it's full of bats. There's gonna be a lot of bats everywhere. What the hell? Yeah, unfortunately we might not get any benefit out of that upgrade that's like, do more damage if you, or do more damage but use more ammo because we have a gun that has no ammo. Don't hit the fireballs. Fireball, meet the ball. Well, let's go take a look at these Doug rooms. I give up. I give up. I put my hands up in the air and I give up. What do you want me to, what do you want, what do you want from me, game? It's 20% damage that we just literally can't act. I wanna know what's down there. What's in the, the double down Doug room? Fucking oh, Christ, dude. F this game. <laughs> oh, they rotate in different directions. That's really dumb. I don't know if that's intentional or a bug, but I hate it either way. <laughs> Let's say that. If you have blink, can you go through walls? No. Holy water blesses your weapon. It gets 10% damage and 20% ammo and is refilled. Not this gun. That's pretty cool though. Doug, it's a good Doug room. All right, let's keep dugging. Cover one HP. Might as well get it. I also know that the secret room is up here. Oh, but I can't access it because I haven't bombed it. Well, we'll go bomb in a second. These are ships. It's a ship that has like a weird self-destruct mechanism on it. That's a pretty cool, actually. It's like a little suicide bomber. 
Parts. HP, sure. We're stacking up the HP, but we're running into that that gun problem again. I just don't have any any guns available because I can't hold on to any of them because I run out of ammo. Okay, another holy water. This room that just has a broken steam vent in it. This room that has 5% damage. I mean, it's not 20, but I'll take it. There's nothing here. There's nothing here! Your basic weapon has piercing. That's actually pretty cool, because I am relying on my basic weapon right now for quite a few things. Uh, let's get a swarm bomb. Fight this room, we'll use a bomb. Nah, never mind. We'll use a basic bomb. Kill whatever that thing was. And we're done. We've explored all of these weird ass dug rooms. We have no gun to our name, so I can't use either of the holy waters. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, game? These guys are stuck. He's not stuck anymore. He's coming right for me. I have no guns. I can't take advantage of the holy water. I wish I could get a 10% damage upgrade for the weapon. Times two. Well, let's fight this guy then. Maybe somehow we'll get super lucky and get a free gun. We do get piercing on our basic weapon, which is nice, but that's such a minor upgrade because you ideally don't want to be on your basic gun ever. You want to have something better. seems to be hard for me to hit him, because I think his hitbox is the head in the middle of the firewall. Oh, got it! At the very end. Well, hopefully only once. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Keep stacking up the damage, I guess. That's not doing anything, and we're, we're completely done with the floor. We've done everything. That was a long floor, but there was a lot to it. Okay, so you can dig sometimes due to some variable criteria, which I do not understand. By the way, I'm gonna do this right now. And if you dig, you just get access to basically another shortcut room, but it's not a shortcut room. It's not called a shortcut room. Unknown. Shortcut. You know what? I'm gonna oh I'm gonna enter all these shortcut rooms from the bottom. Reveals the entire floor. You know what? Why not? Sorry, what? Z Secret Shortcut Room, Secret Shortcut Shortcut Room. What? Well we're gonna frickin' explore them. But um Alright, you moved on to the wall, thank you. Oh boy, max ammo. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna op enter all of these shortcut rooms from the bottom, just in case I get the ammo. Sorry, not ammo, the damage. I keep missing out on it. Alright, okay, let's go to the secret room. We can pierce shields! Oh, that's so nice! I just took three hits of damage, that's not as nice. Reduced multiplier loss. And then we have this. Do we have um, error? We do have error. So I guess we gotta go to Z room first, maybe? Eventually you want a drill run? I don't think the drill is that good. Cover HP. We need to get the, uh, the gun. Maybe it would be wise to save it for when we're leaving the floor or fighting the boss. In fact, now that I've said it, that might be our, our best thing to do. Or we could wait and fight the mini-bosses with it. Okay. 
that might be the best thing to do. Wait on picking up the gun until you're fighting the mini bosses, that way you actually have a good weapon to use against them. And ideally take less damage. And add bombs, fantastic. So let's get, let's beeline the upgrade terminal. I know I keep saying we're beelining different things, but let's beeline that upgrade terminal. Avoid damage whenever possible. A scrap runner, it's an interesting idea. I just don't think it's that good. Tough room, which means Pop those bombs, shoot these guys. Actually, not that tough of a room. For it being a danger, danger room. Oh, good lord. This is a danger room. I think he got caught and blown up by the block that spawned. Okay, scrap runner, runner. stealth, salvage. Damage still wakes them up immediately. Scrap runner. Collecting debris increases movement speed and damage up by 40%. That seems pointless on bosses. That seems pointless on bosses. That seems pointless on bosses. Everything here seems pointless, but I'll take stealth. Enemies take longer to activate. That's such a, a wonky upgrade. I don't even know how to, how to feel about it, but I'll, I'll take it and try it. Increase max HP by one. Yo, fortune paying out. So what is Z room? I guess we're probably gonna have to shoot it. And it'll uh, turn a big cog and activate things on the level. The breach has been opened. Into the breach. Ooh. Interesting. Should we finish off the rest of the level first or should we get a gun first at least? Let's finish off the rest of the level. We've actually gained max HP for doing this. Let's keep going. Hope that we get a little bit lucky on drops and whatnot. Hope fortune pays out. Maybe fight a mini boss or two, try to get some upgrades. Still getting money and whatnot too, which is nice. And we could get a drill if we needed to buy a gun. Let's try to fight a mini boss. This one is not too bad. As long as you don't get hit by the ghosties. Got him! Might as well get back up to max HP. And we didn't even use a bomb! Dude, we gotta get a new gun. Sword heavy overheat, overheat, area of effect, or railgun ricochet homing. Railgun ricochet homing. Thank you. Actually a good weapon, a great weapon I feel. I do like the piercing on the basic weapon, but I'll be honest, I'd rather just have a, a railgun. It's doing good work. It's doing God's work. Piercing would be nice. Oh no. I guess it does pierce slightly. Phasing would be nice so it bounces around the entire world. I'm liking it so far. I got hit? I guess I got hit. So I'm gonna fight the mini bosses. Thanks for aiming. Um, but I'm going to finish clearing out these rooms first so that I can Oh Lord, what the heck was that? Uh, I want to finish off these mini bosses first so I can get back up to max not max but more Oh god, the freaking scythe on the wall. I want to get my ammo back now. Now that we've done the exploration, let's get our ammo back. We're not going to get back up to full or nearly full, but it's something at least.
All right. 51 ammo, let's check out these breaches. We are using a basic weapon, but our weapon has changed? I don't understand. These enemies seem annoying. I do like having the little alcoves to hide in. But these guys have, aw, oh, damn it, just an absolute crap ton of HP. Did we lose? I think we may have lost. I guess we, we just don't have access to our gun in these breach rooms, strangely enough. Um, sorry, does that say destroys walls? Oh, so this is the drill you can use to dig. Iron Fist Razor, high caliber. Stronger, but fires more slowly, pushes, pushes enemies back. I think I'm gonna do Iron Fist Razor. Seems pretty cool. Oh my lord, I love it already. Okay, we'll check out the other breach. Sorry, using our basic weapon, of course. I already fought one of these enemies. This guy doesn't seem that that hard. Ah! Big ol' blocks in the middle. I don't quite understand these rooms. Lots of max ammo. Okay. Is, is, is that it? Uh, app apparently that's it. The breach rooms, you get... You get a fight, a hard fight, for a possible reward. Interesting. Okay, are we, we done? We're, we're done with the entire floor? I think so. Strange. <laughs> I'll be honest, this seems like it could be pretty cool. Let's dig on. We'll get more dig done. Bad hit to take. I have no bombs. Feels like we're doing a lot of damage, though. Feels like we're doing a lot of damage. Holy shit. I'm liking this gun. We also block enemy bullets around us, I think. This seems incredible. If we can keep ammo for this gun... Oh yeah, this attack is easier, I guess. If we can keep ammo in this gun... I certainly have high hopes of at least winning the run. Maybe we can discover something else about, like... About, like, the, um... I am error cartridge that we have. I still don't know what we're gonna do with that. Oh, come on! Also, why do we keep exploding when we take damage? I don't understand that. Re is it reduced multiplayer loss? Is it focus? I don't know, something is... Something is making it so that when we get hit, it, it kind of like creates a little bit of an explosion around us. I don't quite understand what's doing that. Let's explore a little bit more first. Don't worry, I'll kill you. Max ammo, lots of max ammo, thank you game. WTF is that weapon. It's a unique weapon that we got. Oh, no, it's this guy. Oh, fuck you. I hate this piece of shit. This is the worst mini boss in the entire world. I just took like four damage. Well, we gotta get the, oh, we can't get the HP. We have to keep the weapon. We have to keep the weapon loaded. And this room had just nothing in it. Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. 
We got a shield. We need to get we need to get a lot of HP. We need to get a lot of ammo, and if we don't, we're dead. You know, I'm not gonna say that. We're not dead. We're just not in a very good spot. There's more ammo. Thank you, Fortune. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and use a bomb. Okay. A stealth, no sorry, a swarm bomb? That's not that good. We only have 10 shots left. Please get me more ammo. I have one shot left. Shit. Oh, I, I didn't even get a chance to actually shoot the gun. It didn't work properly. Damn. That was such a, it's so hard to get ammo for your guns in this game. <laughs> it was a unique razor. There are unique weapons in the game. They're like legendary, basically. So that was a legendary razor that had special modifiers on it. It was really fun, and then we ran out of ammo, and then it's not fun anymore because we can't use it. <laughs> it's less fun when it runs out of ammo. Yo, stop it. Hey, at least we got piercing shots. Sure, give me a gun. Revolver, infested, finale, thunderhead, align, infested. Sure. I don't want to have to aim anymore. I guess it kind of, lovely, kind of tracks the cursor slightly, but it seems so bad at killing those enemies. What is this? I've seen this a couple of times. That just one little rock right there. How do I? How do I get in? Okay, that's interesting. Never seen that enemy before. Oh my god, it's, it does so little damage. Cause it, it, oh fuck, it can't do like, really concentrated damage at all. All the damage is spread out. It doesn't have like any phasing or a line or anything. Alright, you teleport to me, I'll teleport to you. Increase max HP by one, all right. Keep the HP coming. We done? No, there's still, oh no, we are done. That was all three mini bosses. Let's get the hell out of here. I highly doubt we're gonna get any stronger by staying. I mean, it's possible, you never know. Find some lucky drops in rooms, but... For the most part... I have no idea what that sound effect was. I think I got hit, and I just didn't lose multiplier or something. Fuck, I could go into the, into the room. It's unknown. It's a shortcut. Oh no. There's nothing in here. It's just nothing. Those rooms have been pretty underwhelming lately, huh? We did heal. Okay, you know what? Let's let's keep going. One of those enemies, not a problem. Two of these enemies, a slight problem. Oh god. A shield. We picked up HP and a shield in two rooms. I love it. We're done. We've lived. I don't know what I'm looking for. Just something about this. Let's do it. Okay. I want to skip this. Let me press space here, not when I'm going down to the next floor. What is, 
What, what would you skip? <laughs> Okay, dodge is the most important thing. Okay, we negated one hit. We still have the shield, I believe. There goes the shield. We're down to our starting basic weapon. Now we have to actually aim. Did take a hit there. Did take a hit there. Did take a hit there. Oh my god, I'm I'm blowing it. I'm blowing it. Although, he is dying. We have six HP, two bombs, don't forget the bombs. I don't know wh when to really use them. Fuck. Maybe I should start using them on that attack. Okay, just focus on dodging! I've never been able to dodge that attack once, I don't think. F me, dude. Oh god, I was too high up. Okay. Doing the same thing. You turn way too quickly, makes it very hard to actually dodge. And you hit me before I could even move around you. We're down to one HP and we are going to die, but it's been fun. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. I like the new changes with the DLC, but the game has gotten much harder. Turn off the... the... Tooltip tutorial hits. I don't need it. I understand how to play the game, you freaking uh, Klein. Who are you? Hey, you. Shmup looking guy. Do you, do you like video games? Really? Haha. <laughs> what a chump. I like you. I've got some video on hand. Want to give it a try? Let's go. Ready, set. Oh, it's the fucking mini games! You can practice! Ready? Set? It's so you can practice the rules of the games! Right, so that's a shield. But it costs gold to prep. Fuck, it costs gold to practice. I kinda hate that it costs gold to practice considering how many of these mini games there are, but. At least I can kind of understand it. Well, I didn't have time to get it. Interesting. God, it was a different one <laughs> than I was thinking it would be. All right, so that's that's minigame arcade man. I really hope that he's here all the time because then I could just like turn on the game and practice the minigame component of it because those mini games can get really freaking tough. All right, I, sorry, did that cost two hundred and sixty-three thousand? It cost half my gold. I mean, I guess it makes sense. That way it is not, um... By the way, I'm gonna disable the second wind. I guess it makes sense, that way you can always afford it, because it was always kind of annoying that you had to make 100,000 back on a run before you could buy another one. But in any, in any case, we learned some things. We learned some mini games. We learned something about the temple. We learned some things about the unique weapons in the game, the legendary weapons, and we learn that the game is hard, and it is still hard, and the game is hard, and it's going to take a million years to actually complete. It's very tough. Very tough. So for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch if I want to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monolith.